I'm taking the girls this morning to go and get COVID tests. You can see they're not that excited. Um, it is not because we think that they are COVID positive. I'll be honest with you, zero symptoms, zero concern, but I just keep seeing so many stories of all the other schools starting back to school and they get COVID positive cases day one or day two. And I'm not gonna be part of that group. I'm gonna know that I'm sending my kid to school without COVID. 100%. There's no chance of them getting it before school starts. So, just doing my part, being responsible, and making sure that they are safe going into school. And I'm doing this while I'm driving because I relate. <laughs> I want to make sure I get into this line. I have an appointment, but it's still kind of a long line and a long wait um, to get in. And now we wait, right Ash? Mm -hmm. It says there's a 45 minute wait, but there's really not that many cars in here. And we're almost to the point where we're to the check-in, like with the people. We're only like five cars behind where you actually check in. And there's probably only like 10 cars above that. There's like three lanes, but I think it's gonna go quicker than we think. Um, but I have an appointment for them, so that makes it easier. What about people? They're already in the system because we already did it this way before. Well, they're already vaccinated, so it's fine. Yeah, I'm not getting Abby and Kaylee tested today. If these guys get results back um, that are positive, I mean, that would shock me, yeah. to be honest. Uh, then obviously we would bring Kaylee and Abby in and me and Jason in and go ahead and test us. But that's why I'm doing it today. It's Saturday and that would we could do a test on Sunday or on Monday um, if we had to. But we're just being precautious and when I was talking to uh, some friends, their friends, moms, yesterday, one of them had a COVID contact at, at their baseball practice or something earlier in the week and was just letting us to know about it but it was such an indirect like not actual direct contact we were just, like, they were like across together. not even that they were like across the building and also and wearing masks on yeah there was like one percent chance of even coming in close contact with the person that was positive. I'm going around a really narrow, they do not make much room to go around these little, am I okay? Anyway, um, so we kind of got talking about it and I was like, well, you know, it. we're gonna go get tested anyway tomorrow. And they were like, oh, you too. <laughs> so before they even knew of this contact, they all had appointments to do the exact same thing that I'm doing. They're just making sure that their kids do not have COVID going into school. And I just, I love living in an area that has, dare I say, responsible people. I'm just gonna say, we have a mask mandate back in place. We have masks required for schools. I cannot imagine it. I cannot imagine sending my kids to school right now with no mask mandate in place. Like, I don't know that you would go back to school. Like, I'm just gonna be for real with you. I think no, I would, what do we do? I would keep you home. The problem is we don't have a virtual option this year. So, Yay, let's go. no, I would have to like enroll you in K-12 or something. Um, so I'm very grateful that we live in an area that is, dare I say, taking it seriously once again. <laughs> so, Wishing all of you who do not live in a place who has the mask mandate in place, good luck. I feel for you. I've chatted with a few of you. Um, I gotta go off and register really quick, but um, I feel for you. Sending your kids or grandkids to school right now would be so scary. Even if they have a mask, having everyone a mask is way better. <laughs> Don't film me, mom. Don't film me. Awkwardly so Chelsea. <laughs> I'm gonna touch your camera. Ew, feet. Me. Don't touch it. <laughs> I'm gonna touch it. Then get up. <laughs> Sit up. <laughs> Cooper. What the call?
too? Okay, is it under the same phone number? Uh-huh. Okay, what's it? Ashley and Chelsea. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll be right back. Uh, just keep moving with the traffic. Okay. Uh, but make sure to stay on this lane. Okay. Lane one. Lane one. Good job, kiddo. Oh, I can't see. <laughs> 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Awesome. <laughs> Does it take off? Is it a lot? Well, if you close your eyes on the first Put your mask back up. Hey, okay, Chelsea, Bye. your turn. Hey, okay, Chelsea, you can tell me your birthday. <laughs> Have a nice day, okay? Thank you. Okay, how was it? It was fine. Fine? Yeah. You gotta get out of like here. It's gone right now. Okay, 24 to 48 hours for results, which is why I wanted to come today. I wanted to give enough time. Um, Dad got his results a couple weeks ago, about 30 hours after he tested, so hopefully we get ours soon. <laughs> this is why you don't come to Costco. Oh. Yes. <laughs> on a Saturday. Oh, come on. Oh, I hate this. Hey, so busy. Why don't you busy. play the license game? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. You guys are going to play the license game here in the parking lot. <laughs> I already got it. I already got it. Yep. Okay, but this I'll is... I remember the... Oh, wait. Hang on. Oh, what's that one? I remember the first time my sister saw this Costco. <laughs> she was like, what? in the heck and why are there so many cars here? I'm like, this is normal. This is how Costco is done in Washington. This is, uh, our co Costco is the corporate Costco. So like corporate headquarters is right there. If you ever wondered where that was, it's right there. I wish we had the largest Costco like Salt Lake does down in Utah, but we don't. All right, we're getting gas. They got slushies. I got myself a cold beverage for breakfast. Have not had breakfast yet. Um, I have to get stamps for Jason at Costco, but we are going to hold off on doing a Costco run. I don't ever go to Costco on a Saturday to begin with, but we're gonna do a big stock up at Costco and do a separate haul on Monday. So stay tuned for that. These girls. <laughs> I want to figure out what the license plates are. <laughs> I think you need to buckle up. We're in a parking lot and we're parked. <laughs> That's yeah. That's why they call it parking lot. <laughs> I have it's so weird to have like kids in the car. I, like, I don't go with me places very often. Whenever and I so, go, I don't yeah, she doesn't. Long. She doesn't like to go places. Nope. So she I just, just like to stay and hang out with friends because I don't like going shopping. Don't like going shopping. We need to find her a raincoat. <laughs> Grandpa. Um, came to take him to go get school supplies but didn't realize that we had bought all our school supplies mm -hmm. and so then he went and bought you a pair of pants right Ashley mm -hmm. you should show everyone your new pants um, it's too warm today to wear them right but Chelsea just <laughs> Chelsea decided to get a raincoat from grandpa but one target didn't have them at the time and I would rather get one a little bit nicer and I need one that's thin but waterproof and that the one that kind of folds up into itself like a little it folds up into its own pocket uh, so she can put it in her backpack when she's not wearing it Chelsea Marie <laughs> anyway so I like to get that kind of jacket from Eddie Bauer but the there's not a close Eddie Bauer you know what maybe we go up to the outlet Who's that? Is that a friend? Or? They haven't done the outlets before. I wonder if there's an Eddie Bauer outlet up there. We can go today. Do you want to try that? Sure. I'm gonna have to look at that. Let me look at that while I get gas here. I'm sitting here in my office watching Netflix, and I took my nails off. I didn't bring you along with that because I think it's kind of gross. <laughs> but I've got my nail stuff here, and I'm about to file it down. And I might actually put um, 
two or three coats of a nail polish on because my nails get really brittle and thin after I've had fake nails on. So I'm going to try and protect them a little bit and get them covered up. But that's what I'm doing. I'm going to finish my nails and then tonight I might just watch the Seahawk game. There's one, a new one tonight, but then I like won't have anything to watch on Sunday. I love watching Sunday and footballs. I'm such a guy. I really like watching Sunday and Sunday football. Uh, just occupies the afternoon and it's quiet and the weather is kind of cold and chilly and you have a little snack. Anyway, I'm weird, I guess. All right, I did my nails. I think they turned out good. A nice little dark fall color. So it took a little bit longer than I anticipated because I ended up just doing my gel nail polish. I needed my nails to like stay strong and it just doesn't work like that with regular nail polish. They usually chip and then they're brittle and then they I have to cut them really short after I take acrylics off and it just makes my fingernails really raw. I don't like that. And so the harder I can make them until they grow out a little bit further, the better. So this one right here, what did you just barely decide to do on a whim? Here, do cut, cut some of my hair off? She's gonna go and get like two or three inches cut off. I'm probably gonna do three. <laughs> I don't think you understand how much that is. Go put this in the car. Abby's ready to go. Hold on to the other handles. So, luckily I'm all ready to go. Done with my nails. And Abby, when she heard, she said, I want to go get a couple and just take it off. Get ready for school. So, it is a school haircut day. Except Dishes again. Like, this is ridiculous. <sighs> take some time to myself and I come back to a dirty kitchen. So, we're gonna head out, see what Ashley looks like with a new haircut, right? It's not gonna be that big of a So here's our before. No, it won't be that much of a difference. Yeah. We already cut off a lot, but we're gonna cut off straggly ends, make it really crisp for back to school. Yeah. Hey Ashley, is that what you wanted? Yeah. Do you love it? Uh -huh. Is it nice and short for you? Yeah. Turn around, let me see. I saw how much she was cutting off. I'm like, oh, I sure hope that's as short as she wanted it to go. Where did Abby go? Oh, she's over there. Wendy's. <laughs> you want to go to Wendy's? Yeah, but Dad said you didn't want to go there. I, don't, I can't go that far, because I, I don't know when Abby is going to be done wanting to be at her game. So, we now have dad with us, the girls with us, and uh, we are gonna go to get dinner with them. And Red Robin, I guess it is. I guess because we lack creativity. Yes, we do. Well, the problem is there's other places we could go, but they're doing the street streetery tonight down in town, in our little small town. And it's just busy, like it's just packed. There's, I mean, it took me like, three lights just to get through the one light. It's just packed and I don't want to go back down there because I already have to go back down there to go get them from their high school game. I don't want to like wait in line. Anyway, so we're gonna, you don't want IHOP though? Mm -hmm. Did you want IHOP? Dad didn't give you that idea, did, did he? Ashley did, but I don't know. You don't want it? Mm, it's a good IHOP. You think it's worth it? Yeah. No, I, so the thing is, I don't, um, I don't like paying for breakfast food. Because it is like literally I can just the make cheapest. Really good waffles. We can get whipped cream. I can get No, apple I sauce. don't want to make, the problem is, I don't want to cook tonight. No, I'm just saying, I can make that. That's why I'm, I don't know if it's worth it. Okay. Then, all of it. Anyway, we're going to go figure out where we're going to eat dinner and then. We'll eat. Master of the obvious. Sorry. I'm tired. I'm kind of wanting to be done for the day, but I also didn't want to cook, so. Are you bummed that they don't have mac and cheese? I'm just so tired. Yeah, you're tired and you're bummed. I need you tired though, so you actually go to sleep tonight. I know. So, 
Um, we haven't learned our lesson no, no, with Red Robin. They're not quite <laughs> up to par yet. They don't have mac and cheese. Like, I don't understand. It's a mac and cheese shortage in the country. I guess so. I have no idea. So, she had to get a cheese pizza. She's not really thrilled about it. But, um... Then tonight I'm gonna give him a haircut when we get home. And they're tired. Like I had to wake her up this morning and she did not get enough sleep, so that's a good thing. I need her tired tonight. Oh, you put a string on it, it goes way up high. A uh, kite, yeah. Alright, our days of going out to eat as a family are probably over for a while. Another bad experience at Red Robin. I don't know why we don't learn our math lesson, but we are back home and the girls are in a mad dash to shower and get ready for bed because their screen time starts in 18 minutes. And they want to utilize as much of their screen time as they can because they know that we're giving a melatonin as soon as their screen time is up. Ashley is actually tired. She's asked to like lay down multiple times a day and I've told her, nope, you're not laying down. I need you tired tonight. So. Jason's gonna tickle her back after she takes the melatonin. And hopefully, we can have everyone asleep by nine. Well, those two asleep by nine. And um, yeah, I think we're gonna sign off tonight. I'm gonna see if Jason's gonna come back out here. I'm just ready to like start a normal week and get him back in school. We're gonna start going to bed earlier. We're gonna be up earlier. We're gonna have our chores done earlier. And I can get, I can get more done before like 9 a.m. than I have all summer. Actually, all of last year even. You wanna come say goodnight? Jace? Oh, you're talking to me? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm just out here talking. Oh, I need to give you a haircut. Yeah, we're gonna cut my hair, so. They don't need to see it. No. Same old. But uh, we're gonna say goodnight? Okay. Take care.